डिफिनेशन यू मस्ट नो दैट डिफिनेशन एट फर्स्ट की वट इज द प्लांट इम्ब्रियोलॉजी यू हैव टू स्टडी द प्लांट इम्ब्रियोलॉजी तो प्लांट इम्ब्रियोलॉजी you might have heard the term uh, plant embryology or animal embryology and human embryology embryo at first to understand the embryology at first you will have to know about the embryo what is embryo the the, the first question is what embryo is if you know the embryo you can easily define the term embryology the post fertilization product of zygote you know that the union of one male union of male gamete and fusion of male gamete with the female gamete results in the production of zygote and this act of fusion is known as syngamy or fertilization and it results in the production of zygote and you know that the zygote undergoes further division zygote undergoes in further divisions to form the uh, embryo and the the formation of embryo from the zygote is known as the embryo development or embryogeny embryogeny you may say you may use the term embryogeny which describe the development of the embryo from the zygote so the the very important uh, term at first you should know ki what is the difference and what is the embryo so the embryo is the post fertilization product of zygote when the zygote undergoes divisions and redivisions mm. and a number of divisions to produce the embryo so this process of the development of embryo from the zygote is known as the embryogeny or embryo development and the what is embryo the embryo is the post fertilization product of zygote this is the embryo and then what is the what is the embryology the branch of the branch of biological science which deals with the study of embryo and its development and all the events which lead to the development of an embryo constitute the branch which is which is known as the embryology and this embryology is of the embryology maybe uh, you, you have to study the plant embryology the students uh, who have offered the zoology as honors paper will be studying the animal embryology and those and in case in medical colleges the human embryology is taught so these are the uh, if you, but you have to study the plant embryology okay so this embryology is a branch of science which deals with the uh, which deals with the structure and development of embryo and all the events which which lead to the uh, development of embryo constitute the plant embryology plant embryology so this is plant the my second question was ki who is called the father of the indian plant embryology you must recall or uh, you must remember the name of our a uh, renowned uh, late professor of delhi university who is known as the uh, whose name is the pancham maheshwari p maheshwari pancham maheshwari is said to be is known as the father of indian embryology who was a professor in uh, botany at the delhi university delhi university who discuss, who had a lot of work to his credit in the field of plant embryology therefore he uh, that's why he is known as the father of now he is no more he has uh, now he he is no more now so this uh, pancham maheshwari sir is known as the father of the plant embryology uh, who had worked who had a lot of work, research work in the field of plant embryology so this uh, pancham p maheshwari i had asked you two question ki what is the embryology and who is called the father of indian plant embryology so i have defined all these uh, i have defined the term embryology i have told uh, defined the term embryo i have made you know the father of embryology so these are very important things these day you might have heard the anther culture and pollen culture and plant tissue culture these day which all these topics are studied in the this plant embryology and in your syllabus you have also to study the anther culture anther and pollen culture and embryo culture and plant tissue culture theek hai so at first now let us come to the uh, again come uh, come back to the the term plant embryology so in your syllabus yani uh, your in your syllabus some some very important topics are include uh, are to be uh, included which which are to be studied by you the this embryology begins with the definition of embryology and it is uh, and you have to study the sporogenesis what sporogenesis is and this sporogenesis production of spore is called sporogenesis and this sporogenesis is of two types micro sporogenesis and mega sporogenesis then you have to study the gametogenesis in gametogenesis and you have to study the micro gametogenesis male gametophyte development and the mega gametogenesis the female gametophyte development 
then you have to study the different types of mega spores or embryo sacs you have to study in your examination you will be asked to describe to ask to describe different types of uh, embryo sacs which are of the three major types uh, like monosporic embryo sac biosporic and tetrasporic embryo sac this is very important topic from the examination point of view and then you have to study the fertilization the act the process of fertilization in detail in plants and the double fertilization and triple fusion you have to study then you have to study the embryo development that is the embryogeny in your examination you will be asked to give an account of the embryo development in dicot and how does it differ from the monocot embryo development then you must you will be asked to write short notes on the polyembryony the poly production of more than one embryo is called polyembryony which is which is which is found both in the gymnosperm and angiosperm <laughs> then embryogeny then you have to study the different types of embryo and their development embryo different types of the endosperm and their development endosperm endosperm we all know that endosperms are very important they are the nutritive tissue which provide nutrition to the growing embryo and it is present and on the basis of presence or absence of endosperm the plants are of two types Indo the seeds are of two types endospermic seeds and non endospermic seeds so this is very important what endosperm is and an endosperm uh, the, the genetic nature of the endosperm and so you have you will uh, a full course a subjective question is asked in your examination to describe the endosperm and types and their development and these three questions are very important embryo development endosperm development and embryo sac these are these three questions are very important which are asked in the your examination in alternate years okay so these are then finally you have to study the plant tissue culture in which you have to study the anther and pollen culture and embryo culture so these are the topics included in the plant embryology which you have to study i think that you you might have purchased all of you must have your syllabus so that you can see what the what topics are being taught in your I, i i will suggest you to purchase at first just before your study you must have a syllabus of the botany in your hand you must purchase from it market or from the university hello hello am i clear yes, to all sir. yes Parhai sir hone se pehle aap sab ke paas apna courses of study you must have courses of study syllabus have you purchased the syllabus of botany honors part botany honors part 2 Do you have the prospectus? Yes, 